it's Emily Munn. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So glad you're here today. Thanks for joining me. And I'm really excited about today's video. I think it's safe to say it truly is going to be epic. The title of the video says it all. I literally bought an entire Poshmark closet and I wanted to kind of tell you the story behind buying all this inventory and then show you a haul of what I got just so you can get an idea of what I'm listing from this haul. It took me a long time to list this, so just a heads up, some of these items may no longer be available, and this video is gonna be a little bit longer than my usual videos. So grab a cup of coffee, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get started with how I got this inventory. Back at the end of August, my friend Maxie texted me. I know her from Instagram and Poshmark. It basically said she was in a season of life where she couldn't necessarily keep up with the Poshmark closet and all of her other responsibilities and she was looking to sell off her inventory to somebody else and she thought of me. And I immediately saw this text and I got really excited because the inventory in my area, the sourcing opportunities have been really limited and she was gonna send me pictures and videos of the items she had and I could essentially hand pick items from her Poshmark closet to buy at a really great discounted price and list in my Poshmark closet so I had fresh new inventory and obviously it was just, it seemed like a great opportunity. So she texted me pictures and videos of all of the items and I picked out most of it that I wanted to list in my Poshmark closet. We arranged a time to meet up. I actually drove down to where she lives in Joplin, Missouri, which is only about three hours from Wichita and picked up all of these amazing items to resell on Poshmark. And slowly but surely over the last month and a half, I've been working on listing it and I was just really thankful for this opportunity because the inventory, like I said, in my area hasn't been really good. It just goes to show that don't be afraid to tell people what you do. You never know the opportunities that are gonna come your way to get inventory in a different way than you usually do. And it's been really fun to list things that I normally don't find in my area. And that's pretty much the story of how I got this inventory. It's pretty simple, but it was a really, really great opportunity. And I just can't wait to show you all the amazing pieces that I got. It was one of those opportunities that doesn't come up very much, so I was really excited about it. Everything that I show today will be listed with the exception of the theory dress that needs the button repaired and the Thomas Mare dress that needs the button repairs. Those are in the shop and they'll be back later this week. So maybe if you watch this a couple days after upload, they will be out by that point. All of that being said, let's get in to probably the most epic haul I've ever filmed. The first two clothing pieces I have are both Lululemon sports bras and I believe these are both called the energy bra. I have a white sports bra and you can see the Lululemon logo here on the back of the item. It's a size 8. And then I also have a purple Lululemon sports bra. It's got the same logo on the back here and it's also a size 8. I like picking up these Lululemon sports bras if they're in good shape. They do well for me on Poshmark. The next piece is this theory woven sweater and I think this is really beautiful it's a size large it's the newer theory tag and this is actually new with tags it retailed for I believe $455 which is crazy it did go on sale but still I got it for a great price there is a little bit of a flaw on the back here you can see on the woven material there's a little bit of a string that's loose but I think it'll still do great and perfect for fall. The next piece I have is this Tory Burch long cardigan. It's like a cream color. This is the older Tory Burch logo. It's a size extra small, and this did have a belt on it at one point, but it does not anymore, so I will just note that in my listing and get this listed right away since it's going to be perfect for the fall season. This is a high high blazer and this brand is sold at Anthropology. This particular blazer is an extra small small. I love like this woven detail on the piece and it's a little bit cropped so I think it adds a fun touch to it and again a nice piece for the next coming months. This was one of my absolute favorite pieces that I picked up. It's an Escada bright neon pink blazer by I believe Margaretha Lay. It's a size 38, which I'll have to double check, but I believe is like a medium. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong on that. Just a beautiful blazer. I think it is really on trend, even though this is a more vintage piece. 
and I think it'll do really well. I'm excited to get this one listed. I love the embroidery on this burnt orange bomber jacket. It's by a brand called Capulet, if you can see that there. I've never heard of this brand, but I thought it was really, really cute. It's got some, I guess, palm trees on the front, and then if I turn it over, it's got a Hawaii logo, big embroidered logo, logo on the back, and I thought this was really neat, and I thought somebody would like this for any time of year. This next jacket is a brand I've never heard of before. It's called Koss. I will show you the label here. And it's a size 38 regular, which I did go ahead and look it up, which is equivalent to a US small. And here is the tag. It actually retailed for $279, so quite a bit of money. And I'll need to model this because I'm really not sure how it fits, but with that price tag, I wanted to go ahead and pick it up and we'll see how it does. This is another Lululemon piece. It's a workout tank with a built-in sports bra. I love this bright red color and I think this sports bra would actually be really supportive with these back straps. It is a size six and just in case you missed it on the first two sports bras, here's the Lululemon logo again. If it'll focus here, just so you know what it looks like, this is one of my personal favorite brands to sell. Some of these pieces are more basic, but I thought they would be good staples for anyone's closet. This is a cloth and stone army green button down. It's a size small, it's got these little pockets on the front, and like I said, I think it would just be a really nice staple for someone's closet. The next piece is a Madewell zip up flannel, and it's a gray and green plaid print. Here's the Madewell tag. This one is a size small, and I think this would be a great piece for the colder months. It looks like it would be extremely warm. I've never heard of this next brand, but this tank does retail for about $200, which I was shocked by. It's called Joseph. It was made in Portugal, so really made wonderfully. It's got a little pocket on the front, and it's super soft. The size is on the inside of this piece. It's a size extra small, and we'll see how it does. This was kind of an experiment, but since it retailed for so much, I wanted to go ahead and pick it up. This is a J. Crew striped shirt, and I love the little gingham sleeve details here. I think it adds a nice, fun detail to it. This is J. Crew size small, and again, just a nice basic piece for anybody's wardrobe. This is another Lululemon piece. It's a purple and orange long sleeve shirt. I cannot find the size tag on this piece, but I'm guessing it's a size eight. I'm going to have to measure it to be sure. There's the Lululemon logo again, and I actually have this sh shirt in the short sleeve print. It's one of my favorites. It's lasted for a really long time, so I think somebody will really enjoy this piece. This is a draw striped sweater, and it's a size small, just a basic sweater for fall, and it's got like a gray, black, and cream stripe on it. I like draw. I don't always pick it up, but I thought this would be a nice staple piece. This is a current Elliott navy button down and it is a size one, if you can see that there. And one thing about current Elliott sizing is they do it by numbers. So size one is a size small. It's got this little bit of lace detail on the sleeves and just a nice navy top. I did pick up just a select few men's pieces. This first one is a Ted Baker short sleeve button down. It's a size five which, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe is an extra, extra large in men's. I will go ahead and look that up to be sure, but I like the print on it. I think this would be great to add to any male's closet. And in fact, if it was my husband's size, I would totally give it to him because I think it is really well made. This is a men's Vince bomber jacket, and here's the Vince tag. I rarely find Vince men's, but when I do, it usually sells pretty well for me. It's a size extra, extra large perfect to wear for like a layering piece and it does feel like it's really good quality and I think this should do well. We'll see how it does but generally Vince Men's does well for me. I really wish these Madewell jeans were my size because I love the distressing on them but this is a pair of Madewell jeans. As you can see on the front here they are the 9 inch high rise skinny jeans. They're a size 31 and they just have this adorable distressing down the bottoms of them and a raw hem at the ankles. 
Surprisingly, this is a brand I've never found and never sold before. It is Sweaty Betty. This is a pair of Sweaty Betty sweatpants. They are brand new with tags. They are a size small in this beautiful blue color actually that I think would be really nice for working out and they feel super soft. If they were my size, I would totally think about keeping them. This next pair of pants is a pair of Lululemon herringbone crop yoga pants. And this particular print, this herringbone, usually does really well for me on Lululemon. Here is the logo on the back and I believe they are a size two. I think this Hello Molly white lace dress is absolutely beautiful and it would be a great event piece. Here is the tag. I've never actually heard of this brand before. This is a size eight, but it looks like it fits really small. I would say it would fit more like an extra small, but of course I'll include measurements and I think this would be great to wear to any sort of special event. I love this next dress so much. It's by a brand called Chaser, which I don't find very often and it's a size medium but it's a maxi dress with this beautiful star print throughout it. It's new with tags, you can see here. So it was a really good pickup from buying for my friend. And yeah, it goes all the way down to the ground. Just a beautiful piece. This next dress is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I went ahead and picked it up because I think it's beautiful. It is a vintage Christian Dior like a silky kind of a material nightgown and it has a little rose on the front here and it goes all the way down to the ground as well. It's a full on maxi dress and I don't usually sell vintage but this was an exception. There's always an exception to the rule and this was one of them. The Christian Dior piece is a size medium but I will go ahead and measure it because it's vintage. Sometimes vintage pieces fit a little bit differently than today's sizing. This is an Alice and Olivia floral dress, and I don't always pick up this brand, but I got this for a really good deal, so I figured I would try it out. Here's the Alice and Olivia label, and it's a size extra small. This is a hot hippie cowl neck burgundy sweater dress, and what I like about it is if you turn it around, the back is almost completely open on the top, which I think adds a really nice touch to it. Here is the tag and it is a size medium. This next piece is a brand I've never heard of before, but it is very expensive. It's a brand called Thomas Mayer, if you can see that there. And this retailed, I wanna say for around $900. It does have these little embroidered logos here on the top. I guess they're more of patches, but I think it adds a nice touch. This does need to have a button repaired, so this is in the repair pile that I will take to go get a button sewn on it. And it has the original tag, it originally retailed, if you can see this here, for $950. It is a size eight. This is a beautiful Nora Gardner dress. It's just a bright red color, and I think this fit and the cut of it would be really flattering. Here's the label. I'd never heard of this brand before, but it looks like it's a really nice brand made in New York. And I just love the detailing here in the middle. I think it would be really flattering on any body type. The next piece is a Maeve dress, and I believe this was sold at Anthropology. It's size small. I like this print. It kind of reminds me of Mazzoni a little bit. So I think it'll do well. Obviously it's not Mazzoni, but it should be a really flattering print. We have officially reached my favorite print, my favorite dress in this whole entire haul. I cannot believe I picked this up for my friend. It is a Stella McCartney dress. It's this beautiful leopard print. I think it's just gorgeous. I love Stella McCartney and it's new with tags. It's a size 38, which I believe, like I said earlier, is a size small. I'll have to try it on because it is pretty stretchy. It has some side pockets, and I do believe there are a few spots in this dress that have a little bit of wear, but I will go ahead and just note that. I think this will do well. If anything, this is my first time selling a clothing item from this brand, and it's nice to familiarize yourself with such a expensive brand. I think this retailed for around $1,000. I would say this brand is one to be on the lookout for. It's called The Couples, and I've never found this brand before, but it's a size medium. This piece is new with tags. It just got part of the tag on here, but it retailed for $320, and it's this royal blue color. 
This is another one of my favorite brands to sell, especially the newer pieces. This is a navy crochet detail Diane von Furstenberg dress, and it's actually, if you can see that there, it's the newest tag. It's a size 12, and it is also new with tags, which is crazy. This brand usually does really well for me, especially the newer pieces, so definitely be aware of this brand. They do have vintage pieces, but this is a newer one, and we'll see how it does. This is just a basic navy Vince dress and it's kind of blending into the dresses behind it. But here's the Vince tag. I do like selling this brand and I will pick up the basic pieces because they do typically pretty well for me and I like this brand myself. I think it's a good one. This next dress is a navy Lafayette 148 dress and it's a size eight. Some people say this brand doesn't do well for them, for them, but it usually does sell pretty well for me. It's got this crochet detail on the top and the bottom is more like a silky type material, so it would be good for any event and I think it's very, very classic. This is a heart print Draper James dress. It is a size medium. This is the brand that Reese Witherspoon created. She has a store in Nashville. I'm not sure if she has stores other places, but this is her line. Usually does really well for me on Poshmark, and this dress is so soft. Definitely was tempted to keep it, but I think I am going to list this one. Of all the pieces in this haul, I would say this dress is the one I'm most likely to keep. It is a Tory Burch dress, and it's actually the newer label. It's a size eight. And I just love the tiered detailing on this. Although it's a dress, it looks like it's a shirt and a skirt. I think it would be nice as career wear. So I may try this on. You may not see this one listed on Poshmark, but we'll see. I think it's just a beautiful piece and I wanted you to see that new Tory Burch tag. Here's another Lafayette 148 dress. This is, I believe, the newest Lafayette 148 tag. It is a size two and just a basic black and white print, perfect for career wear. This is another one of the dresses I might keep for myself. This is the New Tag Theory, and it's a dress. This is a size six. It does need a button repaired up here on the neckline, and the button is included, so I'm gonna take this to the seamstress and have it repaired. But I love kind of the window pane print, and I think it, the bottom of it with this kind of flow detail is really beautiful, and We'll see if it fits me. I might list it, I might sell it. Haven't decided yet. This is just a basic Maeve dress from Anthropology. It's got this black and white print. Here's the Maeve label. It is a size medium, if you can see that there. And it does have one of the buttons missing, but because it's not one of the more high-end brands, I'm just gonna go ahead and list it as is on Poshmark. We'll see how it does. I'm definitely going to discount the price because of that button missing. This is a black C by Chloe dress, and here's the label. This is a good label to be on the lookout for. If you see just Chloe, it's their higher end line, but the C by Chloe is their lower end line, but still really expensive. Retailed for $440, it's size 42, which if my calculations are correct, should be like a large, but of course I'll measure it. And yeah, it's just a really nice piece, nothing wrong with it, and it was new with tags, I loved the detailing here on the material, and you can tell it was really well made. We are on to the last piece that I very well may keep for myself. This is a Lafayette 148 medium dress, and I like the bell sleeve here at the bottom. I think it's a nice basic, and I'm always on the lookout for really nice black dresses, so we'll see if this is long enough for work, and if it is, I'll keep it. If not, I'll list it on Poshmark. This is just a basic old tag theory dress. It's a size zero, but it is a pretty stretchy material, so I think it might fit up to a two or even a four. I think this is just a nice basic, like a luxury basic to add to anybody's wardrobe, and it's kind of a mini style, but you could wear it so many different ways. And last, but certainly not least on the clothing items, this brand is called, and I've never heard of this brand before, Corey. Halper, Halperin, Corey Halperin, correct me if I pronounce that wrong, but it's a size large and it's a new with tags dress here. It retailed for $548. I love the lace detail down the front. I think it's just beautiful. 
I'm going to go ahead and model this. I think it'll be really pretty modeled. And this was a new to me brand, so it's a good one to know and be on the lookout for. We'll see how it does, but I would imagine it will do pretty well. Moving on to shoes, this is a pair of Tory Burch mini ballet flats and they're in like a chestnut brown color. I think these are beautiful shoes for like career wear and I think they're really classic, but these are pretty worn. So I'll probably price them around $30 or so based on the condition. The other thing about these flats, and I usually get asked this on Instagram, but they usually have the size tag rub off after a little bit. So typically I just measure them and get, do my best guess on sizing. I think these are around a size nine. Anytime I find Jack Rogers, I usually do get pretty excited about it. This is a pair of Jack Rogers Georgica sandals and they're in the midnight gold color wave. They're the leather kind, so a little bit more expensive, maybe retailed for around 130 a size nine and a half, and as you can see, they're in awesome shape. They come with a box, and I think this was an awesome pickup. These are just a pair of basic black leather LK Bennett pumps, but I really like this brand for career wear. You can see the label there. I think it's a really good one to pick up for staples. I know um, Kate Middleton is a big fan of this brand, and it's an all leather sole, so you know it's good quality. These are a size 40 or a size US 10, and I think these would be great to wear to work. This has got to be one of my absolute favorite brands to find at the moment. This is a pair of Rothy's Teal sneakers, and here's the logo if you aren't familiar with this brand. These are really hot on Poshmark right now, and they're made out of recycled water bottles, so they're really sustainable too and very comfortable. I do own a pair myself. They do have a little bit of wear on the bottom that I wasn't able to get off with Magic Eraser. They're a size eight, and because these are still so hot right now, I'll probably still price these for around $90 to $100. They usually sell within one to two days for me. I absolutely adore these shoes. This is a pair of Rebecca Minkoff embroidered Boana boots, and I think the detailing on them is so beautiful. It's just stunning. I think anybody could rock these this fall. So I'm gonna get them listed right away because I think they're perfect for fall. If you look at the bottom here, they're hardly worn at all. They are a size seven and they actually come with the original dust bag. So this was a great pickup and I'm excited to get these ones listed and I can't wait to see who purchases them and hopefully they take a photo so I can see how they look. I think these are some of the most incredible boots I've ever put in my Poshmark closet. They actually are some sort of a vintage brand called Paco Club. I've actually never heard of this brand and I don't know anything about it, but I thought the style on them was just amazing. I love the detailing. They are a little bit worn, but they definitely feel like real leather in really, really good quality. So if you know anything about this brand, like I said, let me know. They're size eight. And I'm just gonna throw up on them up on Poshmark and see how they do because I think they're just absolutely beautiful. They definitely make a statement and something wonderful to add to anybody's closet. This is just a pair of basic Sam Edelman black leather booties. They're pretty simple, but I think it would be a great basic for fall. And I do like selling Sam Edelman. As you can see, those are in great shape. I'm not exactly sure on the size, but trying them on, I think they're around a size 10, so of course I will include measurements with these boots. This pair of Jeffrey Campbell lace-up booties I think is absolutely amazing. I currently have a foot injury or I would totally keep these for myself because they're my size. I just love the detailing. I love the little sock detailing at the top here. I think that's perfect for fall. They are a size nine, so my size, but sadly I won't be keeping them because they have a heel. And I think these will do really, really well on Poshmark. I think they're really trendy as well. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know this is absolutely one of my all time favorite brands. This is a pair of Lululemon's Light On Your Toes socks. They are in a white color. The original price was $18 and they're a medium large. I thought about keeping these, but I actually just got a bunch of new Belega socks. That's my favorite brand of socks. So I'm gonna go ahead and list these. And anytime I find Lulu, I get excited. It's the one brand I can never leave at a thrift store. I picked up five belts with this haul and I don't always buy belts, but once in a while, if I find really good ones, I will pick them up. And so I was excited to try out a few different brands that I've never sold belts of before and I thought I would just show them to you all at once. 
The first three I'm going to show to you are all Escada. This first one being a white patent leather belt with a flower on the buckle. Here is the Escada logo and this one is a size 36 which I think is equivalent to a US small. It's definitely too small for me or I would totally keep it. These next two are the same kind of a design and they're both Escada size 36 but they have this E logo on the front of the belt and I think they're a little bit of a newer style because the Escada label just looks newer. They are a size 36, both of them, and I'm excited to see how these do. It looks like they retail for quite a bit, so we'll see how they do. This is the hot pink version of the belt I just showed you. Isn't it so cute? I think it really is bold and makes a good statement. The next belt is simply the cord piece. The leather buckle was already sold when my friend sold me this piece, but it's by a brand called Barry Kelstein, New York and this apparently should do really well it's really really high end it's actually a genuine alligator if you can see that there so obviously a really expensive material and i will go ahead and list this i'll be interested to see how it does because i've never sold anything like this before and it's a total experiment for me this last belt is from a brand called lana of london it's also a genuine alligator it's a size small I may try this on and see if it fits me but it does have some tarnish on the giraffe belt buckle, but I thought it was really unique and something that I've never sold before as well, so we'll see how it does. And it's just a really cool belt, something completely different, completely unique to add to my closet. That's it for this haul. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I will have more hauls as epic at this at some point, but I think it'll take me a while to top this one. And like I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget to tell people what you do. Maybe you'll get an opportunity to like this down the road. I think this was a really great opportunity for me and I'm really, really thankful for it. If you like this video, if you made it all the way through, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, I don't know why I always do this. Just give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel too. I would really appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.